Hi guys, Luke here with Motion Page again. Uh, today I just wanted to make another quick tutorial. It's a very quick one today, but I want to show you how you can achieve a very simple effect like this. As you scroll down, we have some cards, as you can see, and they're kind of just moving independently of uh, each column. And also the background position is moving slightly as well. I just thought this was a pretty cool effect. I saw this on a website last week and I, I wanted to turn it into a YouTube tutorial. So let me show you how you can achieve this right now. Okay, so as usual, I'm gonna be using Oxygen Builder for this. I'm just gonna create a new page. I'm gonna call this Card Animations, something like that. And then we'll edit with Oxygen. Okay, so first I wanna create a section just to create a buffer zone. I'm gonna make this 100 viewport height like that. Give it a background, something dark. I'll duplicate this and then in the middle we'll focus on the main part. Okay, so first what I want is kind of like a heading. So I'll just do this. All our projects, I want to centre everything in here. Next, what I want is to create my columns. So for this, I'm going to use uh, five columns using grid. I'm just going to apply a utility class here. I also want some space in between these. So I'm just going to add some margin to this. And I also want this to span the full width of the page. So what I'll need to do is go back to the section and in size and spacing, just set this to full width. Now in here, we'll put five divs, which will be our columns. And I want to put some gap in between those. So I'm just going to use gap S. And let's just add our first one here. I'm just going to rename my uh, elements here so I know what's happening. And then in one column, I want to have two cards. So I'm also going to put some gap on the column itself. And then I'll create another div. This is going to be our card. I'm going to add a class to this and I'm going to say project card. The project card wants to be 100% wide. The height I'm just going to do for now 350 pixels, something like this. I want a border radius of around 7 pixels, maybe 10. I'm just going to add um, a utility class here, shadow. I'm just going to duplicate that one, just make sure we've got that space there. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is on the first card, I'm just going to add a background image on the ID. Now, I've already uploaded some pictures here from Unsplash. I'm just going to use these. So this is okay. And what I want to do on the class project card is control the way the background image is showing. So I'm going to set it to auto no repeat, and then top I'm gonna to do zero, uh, zero percent like that. So this is gonna to apply to all of the cards. And the only thing that's unique on the ID is the image itself. Then in motion page, we can control these numbers uh, depending on how we scroll. We can change this top to give it a kind of a, a parallax effect. So I'm just gonna finish creating these. I'm gonna speed up the video, but uh, all I'm gonna do is just add more of these columns and um, add cards to each one. Okay, so as you can see, um, we're having some small issues, which is some of these pictures are really, really zoomed in. So I think what I'm going to do instead is on the project card class, instead of auto, I want to change it to manual. And then I just want to control the height here. So our card, if you remember, is 350 pixels. We just change the height to 450 pixels. That gives us 100 pixels leeway. And then the width I'm just going to set to... Well, I'm just going to leave that blank, actually. So now that way you can see there's um, there's much more details in the images here. So I'm going to save this. Before we go to motion page, though, I do need to do one more thing. So as we scroll up and down, we want the odd columns and then the even columns to kind of behave separately. 
So we'll want some of the columns to move up and then some of the columns to move down. So I'm going to add a class to this one called MP scroll up. I'm going to add this to the, um, the odd ones. So this one and this one as well. MP scroll up and also this one roll up. And then this one, the even ones, we're going to do MP scroll down and this one as well. And that should be it. We can now head over to motion page and start animating. Okay, so I'm going to create a new timeline here. I'm going to call this one project cards. Let's open up our newly created page card animations. So the first thing I want to do is make sure this is on scroll trigger. We want to lock this to our scroll bar. Delay, I think half a second will look nice. I don't want to change any of these values. I think the start and end points are fine as they are. Then I want to come down here and I want to add our first selector, which was MP scroll up. So hover over that, make sure that the first instance of this class is highlighted, which it is. And then we want to control the translate Y axis. So as we scroll down, we want it to move up. So we want the starting position to be further down. So let's say, let's use pixels for this and let's say 50 pixels. So you can see they've moved down and we're on the start point here from. So as we go down, it's going to move to the default value, which is zero. Now it's a little difficult to see, but you can see that the gap between these two has, uh, has closed a little bit. You can see it's moving up here. Now to make this more extreme, so you can see it 500 pixels. You can see that's clearly moving up as we go down. But I'm going to leave this at around maybe 100. In fact, no, 50, because what we're going to do is apply another 50 pixels to these ones, which is going to exaggerate it even more. So let's create, well, actually, let's let's duplicate this one. And then instead of using this selector, let's do MP scroll down. And now we can delete this one. All right, so on this one, we want to do a minus value minus 50. So now as you can see if I scroll up here, sorry my scroll wheels a little bit broken. We can see we have a really nice effect going on. Now because on both of these nodes on the two we didn't put any value which means they're gonna line up as per oxygen settings here. So they're gonna become straight. Now if you want this to carry on as you go down you could just add a value in the two. So for example, from minus 50 to a positive 50 pixels, and then we'll do the opposite here. So from is 50 to minus 50 pixels. Then as I scroll down, it's gonna continue past oxygen's default values like so. It's a pretty cool effect. And then the next thing I wanted to do was I want to change the background position of the image ever so slightly. So in Oxygen, as you can see on Project Card Class background, the top is currently 0%. So let's play around with that. So let's make a new node. We'll target this class, which is Project Card. Project Card. You can see the first instance of that class is highlighting. And now what we can do, we, we could choose either from or to. So the default value is zero. So if we keep this at zero and then in motion page on the two, we put here a hundred percent, you'll see that as we scroll down, the images, uh, the background images are actually changing the, uh, the position. Now in some cards, it's a little dif difficult to see. This one, for example, is very noticeable. And that's just because the, the, the card itself is also moving up. But uh, because this one looks like it's moving up more slowly, the background image also looks like it's moving mostly. It is moving though, I can, I can assure you. You can see the, the mountains here. As I scroll down, they're going off the screen. But because it's compared to the ones that are moving up, uh, it just looks like it's more slow. <clears throat> so let me save this and we'll check it on the front. So I'm going to scroll down here. Pretty cool. So this 
stats at the top. As you scroll down, it's going to go to the bottom. These continue moving up. We have a pretty cool effect, I think. And you could even take this further. You could add like a hover effect to this. And as you hover over a card, you could show a, show a title and things like that. But I just wanted to show you this very quick tutorial on how you could achieve this. It's pretty simple, not too difficult. So there you have it guys, just another very simple tutorial today. We will be back with more videos next Monday. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and please do consider subscribing. It would really help our channel. I will see you again next Monday. Thank you.